Hi, I'm Dr. Bliss Lewis. I'm a psychiatrist and an integrative medicine doctor. And let's talk about NAC, N-acetylcysteine, and how it can be helpful for mental health. And today we'll review some of the findings and just the facts from research studies. And you can look in the description to see the citations for the various research studies. So first of all, NAC is a powerful antioxidant and it helps to replenish glutathione levels, which is like the main antioxidant in our body and in our brain. Two, NAC has shown efficacy for helping to reduce depressive symptoms and there's more research showing that it helps when it's an add-on treatment added to an antidepressant and there's some budding research that it might be helpful even on its own. NAC is also helpful for OCD symptoms and that's both in children or adolescents and in adults. NAC is useful for the treatment of substance use disorders and it can reduce cravings and withdrawal. Uh, there's especially research in using it for withdrawal from cannabis and reducing cravings for cannabis. NAC supplements have research evidence as useful for the treatment of schizophrenia, particularly the negative symptoms and the cognitive deficits of schizophrenia. NAC is useful as an add-on treatment in the treatment of depressive symptoms in bipolar disorder, which in general are very difficult to treat, so that's good news. NAC is also a treatment for anxiety and research shows that it might be particularly useful for anxiety for individuals who have a lot of oxidative stress. A very different finding, NAC uh, has been shown to be useful in research studies to help in children with autism. It reduces irritability and it can improve social interactions. NAC also has cognitive enhancing effects and it can help to improve memory and executive function. Also, NAC is generally easy to take and well tolerated and for most people it doesn't really have side effects. It has a pretty favorable side effect profile uh, even with long-term use and if there are any side effects they tend to be very mild. So overall it's a promising treatment and so many different applications so very popular supplement, lots of people take it and 10 different reasons to. And this was a list of a few different areas where NAC actually has research evidence as being helpful. Check out the references listed, check out the original studies if you want to go more deeply into understanding how NAC works for these various conditions. And thank you for watching, all my love and feel free to share any insights about NAC in the comment section.